Hey, what's up? My name is PJ and in this video, I'm gonna go through the unboxing and setup of my new YN564 flashes with the TX wireless controller. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so I've been making a couple of Strobus videos lately. This is the new kit that I picked up. These are my brand new flashes, brand new batteries light stand, sandbags, flash swivels, got the work. So let's set up these speed lights. I haven't opened them yet, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's very snugly packaged. And then bubble wrap. And it looks like it's got one of these flash pouches that I take off and never ever use again. Bit of Velcro. This is something else I never ever use again, but it's probably good for this review to stand it up and show you the, the flash. Lock it down there. So here it is, the YN564 flash. So right away I can tell this is gonna be a little more complicated than my previous uh, Young Nuo flashes, which I love. Having a look at, this is the YN562. Very simple layouts. Uh, music, mode, zoom, and then the directional pad. This one has got the same button layout, but all sorts of different squiggles and writing on it, which I don't know what they mean. Pilot function. I hope it's not too much more complicated, but it's one of the reasons that I don't use this guy as much. It's the 565EX2 is that there is too much to scroll through in the menu and I just don't, I haven't taken the time to understand it. So that's probably, it's probably not fair for me to say that it's no good, but personally I prefer the simple one, less functions, less to worry about. I really like that about the old ones. Let's see how we go with the new one. Feels a little more firm to adjust. Feels pretty much the same size and weight, I guess. Let's open up the other one and get some batteries inside them. Probably open up this bad boy first. It's a YN560 TX Speedlight wireless controller. This has got some little instructions in here as well. Hold on to those. One thing that would make this the best product ever is was if there was a focus assist beam in here. Just looking at that, it doesn't look like there is, so maybe it's just the optical slave. But if there was a focus assist beam so I could shoot in the dark using this to focus, holy cannoli, this would be the best product ever. I would pay five times as much for that. It's actually a lot smaller than I expected. I thought it was just gonna be like the front end of a flash, but I guess there's a lot less going on inside. It does feel very plasticky, but look for the price, not too bad. Pop it open. The only complaint that I've ever had about these flashes is the battery doors. I've had five of these Young Nuo flashes now and I've only broken one and the thing that happened was the battery door came off. They're just, they're very plasticky. I don't like the little joints that they have on there. And once I broke it and I tried to super glue it back and it was never the same. It basically stayed glued shut. You had to really force it open and to do that, you basically had to break it again. So I had to just scrap that flash. This one doesn't have a little stand, unfortunately, but that's okay. How do we turn on those? On, ooh, it's green. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I don't know how to use them yet. I haven't figured it out and probably doing it on camera is not the best way to do so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I customize my flashes, not in terms of settings, but in terms of usability. Cause I think what I do is probably a little bit unique to most people, not unique, but um, it's not your average flash setup video. There's a million guides online, I'm sure of how to set these up and use them. So you can watch one of those, but this is my version. This is how I started my flash. Firstly, I love these Young Nuo flashes. The bodies are fantastic. They're sturdy, they're reliable. I don't love the branding on it. It kind of cheapens it for me. So what I usually do is I'll cover over it with some black tape. I've also got my little stickers that I put on, my own branding. But I'll usually cover over with black tape all the logos just to make it look uniform, simple, sleek, and professional. So 
I don't have any black tape at the moment. I'm gonna do it with red, which might be pretty ugly just for this video, but at least I'll know in my bag the red ones are the new ones, and when I get some black tape, I'll fix that right up. So yeah, red tape, I put my own little logos on them, so um, first of all, there's no confusing them with someone else's. Secondly, if someone sees me at a show, they know who I am. By seeing it on my flash, they know that I am PJ, your boy Peach from the internet, bigpantsphoto.com. So that's kind of cool, I reckon, if someone sees my stuff and they can look up my photos from that. I think that's really cool. The other thing that I do, you might notice I've got this little fuzzy bit of Velcro on the top. So what that is for is attaching gels. I don't use a stove fin or Omni Bounce or any of those because uh, the reason I say that is because it probably wouldn't fit on with this, but I think those are fairly useless, those accessories. So I just leave a bit of Velcro wrapped around each of my flashes. And what I used to do it are these little flash packs. I think they're like a dollar, a dollar, maybe like a dollar fifty two dollars. They're from eBay, from China. Um, but man, are they so good. I'll show you what it is. Basically, it's this little Velcro and plastic number. It's got a little sleeve here, which you slip your gel in, the hook and the loop end of the Velcro on either side. So yeah, I can stick that right on the outside. They come with this little extra bit on the side here. I'm assuming it's a pouch to keep all your gels. There's no instructions that they come with it or anything. They just come in these little packets, but I've never found a use for it. I just find it annoying to be honest, to have that on the flash. Like I think that's just kind of annoying and I never need to go through all 50 different colors of gels really quickly. So it comes with the Velcro. That's the loop side. And the hook side is on the back here. First thing I'm gonna do is just cut this thing right off. I reckon it's annoying. I've never needed it. It just gets in the way. So I'm gonna chop that right off. Man, that is so much better already. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of my new flashes. I found that the Velcro doesn't stick too well to these rubbery bits here. So I'm gonna measure it a little bit just to the edge of those bits. So I've marked it a little bit just so I know where to cut. Then stick it on exactly as you might think. There's no tip or trick to this. Carefully stick it on just as you measured it. Make sure you stick it down nice and firm because sometimes the corners peel. And if you're gonna be ripping Velcro on and off, you want it to be firm. So stick it down nice and firmly around the grooves of the flash there. And let's do it to the other side as well. So now out of this little packet here, what I would probably do is choose a color to be your default. I like to choose like a nice light orangey color. Let's just do that one. That's probably somewhere around quarter or half CTO. That's probably a good, good place to start. Slide that right in like so. Pop that right over the flash, just like that. So in my opinion, I reckon you can basically leave that on. That can be your key light with a little bit of a CTO gel just for some extra warmth in the skin. I didn't, I definitely didn't make that up. That comes from David Hobby. I know he does that. He's got his uh, SB 800s and his main flash has a one quarter CTO gel, I, I think maybe less. If I had to guess, I'd say one quarter, but he just leaves it on and it means his skin tones are a little more flattering with the flash. So I'll probably just leave that on there for now. I'm gonna do this just for the sake of the video, but I'm gonna cover up the logos even though it's with bright red tape. I think it just looks clean, especially with black, but I think it looks clean, covers up the branding, and I hate to say it, but if people if people can tell that you're using cheap gear, they think you take cheap photos. So I like to cover it up so no one knows what I'm using until they watch this video. Just make it generally as clean as possible. So there it is, I guess. It's not so much a tutorial of how to use them because I was useless in that department, but this is how I customize my flashes. I've got the tape to cover the branding. Got my own little logo on there. So if it ever gets lost, someone can Google that. Or if I'm at a show, someone can you know, possibly look me up. Or if someone knows my videos, they might recognize that logo. I've also got the Velcro on the top. That helps to put the gel on, keep it secure. Can pretty much leave that on as my key light. It's a nice, CTO, orange gel. That's how I customize my flushes. Can't wait to start using them. I've got my brand new flushes, batteries, all my new strokes gear. There's gonna be a lot of cool content to come with this sort of thing. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and learned something, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. No!